All right, ladies, so the guy you like, the guy you're dating, doesn't want to commit. You've been going out with him for a while, and he doesn't take the next step. He hasn't made you his girlfriend, so you have a situationship going on, let's say, or maybe he's already your boyfriend, but he never speaks about marriage or a long-term commitment. And all this has you a bit confused, right? You don't know what to do. Maybe you mentioned it, but he doesn't, you know, he doesn't take any action, so what now? I'm going to speak about seven reasons why he won't commit to you. And also make sure you watch the video until the end where I'll explain some of the strategies and steps that you can take if you encounter yourself in this situation. All right, so let's go down the list. Number one reason he hasn't committed to you, which is the most common one that I've seen and experienced myself, is that attraction is not strong enough. Yeah, he likes you, you know, yeah, he thinks you're cute and you're cool, but he's not deeply attracted to you. And don't take this personally, okay? Sometimes men are in different stages in their lives and they, you know, desire different things. And I can tell you that when I was in my 20s, I was attracted to a different type of woman that I am now, right? Back then, I would look at her and think, you know, is she hot? You know, she's got a nice body, nice face, okay? You know, that's good for me. Forget if she's narcissistic, disloyal, lazy. But then life teaches you the hard way, right? So now at 33, I look for different qualities in a woman and I look for humility, kindness, loyalty, etc. And many men go down that same path as well. You know, the problem is that I learned in my 30s, right? Other men take a few more decades and gain, let's say, this insight in their 50s or even 60s. And I've seen that multiple times, including men in my own family. So if he's not deeply attracted to you, doesn't have a strong burning desire, then it means that he might feel that he's settling. And trust me, you don't want to be with a man that thinks you are his second or third choice. Reason number two, he's not over his ex. He still thinks about her every day. Maybe he keeps in touch with her. They're always like stalking each other on social media. When you start dating a man, okay, one of the most essential questions to ask is, when was his last relationship and how did it end? If you meet a man that went through a breakup five months ago, okay, and this is an important detail, she was the one who dumped him, then he's probably still not over her. Something you need to understand is that we men have a very strong ego, okay? So if a woman walks away from us, we tend to get obsessed chasing her, trying our hardest because, you know, we want to be winners, you know, and if we suddenly have a loss, we feel like a loser that got dumped and he can really mess with our self-image. Now, a man with a mature mindset, right, understands that it's better to let go and never chase a woman that doesn't want you back. Reason number three he won't commit is you have weak boundaries. Since you started seeing him, you know, you always say yes to everything he says. You probably got physical on the first few dates, right? He got intimate with you effortlessly. He got what he wanted fast. He tells you, you know, I don't like when you do this or that. So you change your whole behavior to please him. And you don't know how to stand for yourself and say, hey, you know, I don't agree with you. This is me. Take it or leave it. And in a relationship, you always have to compromise, right? But if you're compromising every day to the point that you don't even remember what's right or wrong, what are your own values and beliefs, then you, beautiful, have a big problem to solve. So because he was able to sleep with you after a couple of dates because, you know, you say yes to everything he wants, then the question in his mind is, you know, why do I gain by committing to this woman? I mean, I already got everything I wanted from her very easily. So why should I close the door to other options? Reason number four, he's not attracted to the idea of commitment. What if you're with someone who doesn't like the idea of monogamy or exclusivity? And most times he's not going to tell you these things, right? Because he wants to keep you around. So you're the one that needs to notice it in his words and actions. Maybe he doesn't want to lose his freedom. You know, he sees uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, who's almost 50, dating girls in their 20s. And he thinks, you know, man, that's the lifestyle that I want for myself. Maybe his parents had an unhealthy relationship and he grew up around that. So he believes marriage and commitment only destroys that relationship and the woman always ends up getting the best of it because of the uh, divorce laws, you know, favor her in many aspects. So pay attention how he speaks about relationships in general. 
marriage, building a family. And I know sometimes you hear that phrase, well, you know, when he meets the right woman, he will change. And there's certain truth to that, okay? I've seen it in some cases, but I would rather find someone who's ready and aligns with my values that someone who I need to turn into a project to, you know, change their beliefs that they probably had for 20 or 30 years. Number five, he's had bad experiences in the past. This is similar to number four, but in this case, he was the one who went through hell one time when he decided to commit to a woman. Maybe he got cheated on, you know, maybe he got dumped for being too affectionate or too needy, and now he's got trust issues. I know the first time that I got cheated on when I was like 21, you know, I found out that my girlfriend at the moment was sleeping with another guy behind my back and I ended the relationship. But a couple of months later, I met this amazing girl. She was an actress from um, Switzerland and she was completely infatuated with me. Okay. And I remember looking at her and thinking, wow, she's so nice and so lovely, but she's gorgeous you know so she's definitely has a bunch of actors hitting on her every day and she probably cheats a lot you know so i had those ideas and those deep trust issues that they got the best of me and actually she ended the relationship when she noticed that was being flaky and inconsistent so if your guy has had a similar experience to mine he may not be ready to build a healthy connection with you number six he suffers from fomo fear of missing out he likes you a lot, but he's thinking about all the other girls out there, you know, all the other options. Yeah, you are a great option, but are you the best option? And this happens many times with a man that doesn't have a strong sense of purpose and direction in his life. He doesn't know the destination where he wants to go, right? So he doesn't know what type of company he needs by his side. And don't confuse this with uh, being successful, okay? Because a man can be extremely successful at his craft and still have no idea where the hell he's heading. If you want Want to learn more about the distinction between these two go check my other video here on my channel that's it's called what men want from women and relationships also he could be a perfectionist right where nothing is ever good enough and he's always pointing out your flaws he constantly compares you to other women why aren't you more like susan or stephanie because at the end of the day what he really needs is a robot and not a human being and final reason number seven he won't commit to you is that he is financially unstable. When you're trying to create a serious relationship, okay, many guys, let's say they haven't figured out how to make money, you know, how to build a successful business or professional career, and they're struggling with that, right? And I know that I've been there myself where I didn't want to get too close to the girl that I was with after college because I thought, you know, I'm still building my business and I don't want her to think that I'm a loser. I don't want her to bring her to my house so she sees that I live in a trailer park. So it's best that I don't give her access to my world and keep certain separation until I get the ball rolling. All right, so now that I mentioned the seven reasons, what is my advice to you when a man is not willing to commit or he's not excited to escalate things? Well, the first thing is to avoid the number one mistake that a lot of you ladies make, which is to pressure him into commitment. Maybe you ask the question, you know, what are we? What are we doing here? I want something serious. And now he understands, okay, well, I have to tell her what she wants to hear, so let me do that to not lose access to her. And what I strongly believe, as a man who has been there, talks to other men about it, okay, is that you should never put pressure on a man about commitment. A man that is truly, deeply interested in you will ask you to be his girlfriend, his partner, his wife before the idea even enters your head. Like, you might even have to slow him down because you think he's going way too fast. So if he's not showing this level of desire for a relationship with you, then something is off. And you've probably seen that quote on my Instagram, you know, always take mixed signals as a no. Therefore, my suggestion is that you walk away from that man. Now, this is what gets interesting, okay? You can walk away by expressing that you want something serious and you believe that he's not ready for that level of commitment. And then what 99% of the guys will do is to try to give you whatever you wanted, right? Oh, yes, I'll make you my girlfriend. Okay, I'll, I'll buy the ring, right? And don't fall for that, okay? Walk away and cut communication as much as you can. And then watch his behavior for the next couple of months, okay? If he doesn't start talking to other women, okay? If he keeps reaching out, trying to prove that he's ready, then it's up to you if you want to give him a chance. Because 
sometimes we don't really know what we have until we lose it, right? So it's better that you walk away before he tries to cut you out. And I know that this may feel like playing games, okay? But you have to test people, to be honest, especially when they're not 100% secure on what they want. So by walking away and creating that space between you two, it will give him time to reflect on what's important to him. And if you end up giving him a chance, okay, make sure that he's displaying commitment and dedication to the levels that you want consistently. Not him coming back, you know, showing dedication for a few weeks and then back to his old ways. If that happens, then you should consider walking away for good because I don't think there's much hope there. Now, I know that you're probably thinking, but Ismail, what if I walk away and he never reaches out, okay? Or he doesn't try to fix it then you beautiful have your answer. He was a major waste of time and be glad that he stopped trying so you can move on to better things. Okay, so I hope that you learned a few interesting things about seven reasons why a man won't commit to you. And if you have any questions, you know, let me know in the comments. And like I always say, keep learning about relationships, dating and personal development, because if you want your relationships to change, you need to change. Have a beautiful day.